Well, guys, old fish lip sturgeon is back again with her hand out like Oliver Twist, wanting more the greedy little goblin. Apparently, her finance minister, if you can call her that, has wrote a letter to Rishi Sunak demanding another two billion because the first eight and a half billion wasn't enough, despite the fact they won't tell anyone if or how they spent the first eight billion they were given. According to reports, they could not even answer where the money is being spent, how much is going to businesses, or anything like that, because I expect they are sitting on as much as they can, possibly still living in their deluded fantasy land, hoping they will get to become the vassal state of Brussels. If it's not that, then they are doing the same as the Tories, giving it to their friends in sweetheart deals with neighbours and maybe political party donors. The SNP could well be doing that and are just better at covering it up. Who actually knows? But what we can be sure of is that the money will likely not be finding its way into the hands of the everyday Scotsman, because that is not the way governments work. As with local councils, they only care about extracting the maximum amount out of taxpayers' cash to spunk on whatever they decide at the time, while claiming it will be spent on this and that. Of course, many will know that is complete horseshit. Local councils and devolved puppet assemblies are likely more corrupt even than the parliament down here, and that is saying something. Now, the Express have picked up on the SNP once again going all of a twist, begging for more money, and of course being told to take a hike by the UK government, and rightly so. It headlines, Really, Nicola Sturgeon's SNP begs for two billion in outrageous letter. We need it now. No, the only thing you need to do now is resign because apparently Apparently you lied to the Scottish Assembly, but we know you ain't gonna do that, let's be honest. It says the SNP-led Scottish Government has begged for almost two billion of UK government funding just days after it was revealed their key Covid funds had not yet been spent. Like I said, hoarding money. Scottish Finance Secretary Kate Forbes has already written to Chancellor Rishi Sunak and urged the government to release 21.3 billion of reserves to help tackle the impact of the Rona. The COVID-19 reserve was announced as part of the UK spending review in November and was expected to be allocated in 2021 or 2022. So they may well get it this year anyway, but these impatient fuckpigs cannot wait. They want all that money now, what, so they can sit on it. Perhaps they want to invest it and try and make some money for themselves. Who knows what they're doing on the sides? And obviously, I'm not just saying that the SNP are doing this, I'm saying most political parties are probably doing this around the fucking world. It goes on, now Nicola Sturgeon's finance minister has begged the Chancellor and asked the Scottish Government be given its share of the funds now. This would total around £1.7 billion if the whole amount was allocated to devolved spending areas. It comes after Economy Minister Fiona Hislop was unable to say how an extra £8.6 billion from the UK government to fight the pandemic was being spent. Because obviously they don't want the shit show that perhaps the Tories have dealt with, you know, when all their friends have been given these 30 or £40 million pound contracts. Hancock's neighbour is one of them, remember. Perhaps the SNP have been doing the same thing but have been managing to keep it under wraps a bit better. She was asked on BBC Good Morning Scotland's programme, so we do not know as of yet how much has been spent to support businesses, with Miss Hislop responding yes. Because obviously they don't want to fucking tell you, I bet they know how much has been spent. The problem is, I expect hardly any of it, if any of it, has been spent on businesses and the actual people of Scotland. Douglas Ross, leader of the Scottish Conservative, said, SNP Minister Fiona Hislop hopelessly struggled to answer where they've spent UK government funding and how much of it has gone to businesses. We've seen this before from the SNP. They hide how much is actually going to businesses in a fog of different funds. Yeah, I wonder why that is is. You guys can maybe let me know what you think down in the comments. Miss Forbes said to the Chancellor, if this was allocated against devolved spending areas, it would result in additional funding of around £1.7 billion for Scotland. It is imperative that this funding is released now so that plans can be made to mitigate the impact of the virus as far as possible on our health service, businesses and the wider economy. Well, that can easily be done if you open up the fucking country. Same goes for Boris the Bullshitter. It goes on, our focus is on delivering the maximum possible support for business and well-being through this critical period, despite the fact that you won't say how much you've actually given businesses, because I expect it is nothing if it's anything at all. She added, demand continues to outstrip the resources available and our inability to borrow on the financial markets or even use unspent capital funding to address immediate needs leaves us reliant on the UK government. 
which obviously the SNP and Scottish Puppet Parliament will always be. You are reliant on the UK government because you are a member of this union, given the illusion of power by Westminster at the end of the day. Personally, the fact that you constantly wasting this country's money and asking for much more is just taking the piss, especially after all that's come out this week, including in relation to Alex Salmond, you lying, snivelling shit weasel. But personally, I do really find it quite funny that the SNP are back begging for money like Oliver Twist. Please sir, can I have some more is all you hear from the Scots Nat Pratt. I would say Boris Johnson is lucky that the SNP exist because otherwise he would be the most incompetent snivelling shit weasel in this country. At the moment it's taken up by everybody in the SNP. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. 